Hello guys, welcome to Love is Vacation YouTube's channel. Now I wanna give you information about 5 Top Rated Day Trips from Milan Number 5 Pavia From its prominence as a major Roman capital, Pavia grew into an important university city, known today for its medieval and renaissance buildings, and for the remaining examples of its original 100 medieval towers. The impressive 14th century Castello Visconti retains two of its immense towers and now houses history and art museums. Emperors, including Charlemagne, were crowned in the Romanesque Church of San Michele, and Pavia's cathedral is based on the designs of Da Vinci and Bramante. To see the remaining medieval watchtowers, head for Piazza di Leonardo da Vinci, where there are several. The Pont Coperto is an arched covered bridge over the Ticino River, rebuilt after World War II bombing destroyed the 14th century bridge. That one was itself a reconstruction of the original Roman bridge. Number 4 Bergamo di Città Alta On a steep hill, directly above the tiny street grid of New Bergamo, the old city is a tangle of narrow, stone-paved streets lined by buildings dating to the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. Reach it by a funicular or by streets that wind upwards to the impressive gates in the 16th century bastions. Inside this atmospheric walled village lie most of Bergamo's artistic and historic attractions, many of them clustered around the sloping Piazza Vecchia. Number 3 Bernina Express to St. Moritz It's a long day, but you can get a taste of the magnificent alpine scenery north of Milan by making the two-hour train ride to Toronto and boarding the scenic Bernina Express. In two and a half hours, you'll cross 196 bridges, go through 55 tunnels, and cross breathtaking gorges as you climb the Bernina Pass and descend into Switzerland. The little red train has wide vista windows for full views and good photography from every seat. The Bernina Express ends in the legendary Swiss ski resort of St. Moritz, overlooking a lake and in Gaden Alps. The train runs year-round, and the views are equally good in summer or winter. Number 2 Verona and Lake Garda The happy blend of Roman antiquities, medieval streetscapes, and the romance of Shakespeare's tragic, though fictional, heroine Juliet puts Verona near the top of everyone's Italy list. In the center of the historic district stands one of Italy's best-preserved Roman arenas, the site of a major summer opera festival. A few streets away, the Riverside Castle has been brilliantly repurposed into an art museum, with fine views of the castellated bridge below. At least four of the city's churches are landmarks of Italian architecture and decorative art. There are several Roman gates and subterranean excavations from the same period to explore, but few of Verona's sites get as many visitors as Juliet's house and balcony. Number 1 Lake Como Direct trains from either Midland Stasian Nord or Stasian Central take about 30 minutes to reach the small city of Como, at the southern shore of Lake Como. From here, boats leave regularly, stopping at one after another of the lakeside towns, each prettier than the last. Within a few minutes walk of the landings are beautiful gardens and villas, art-filled churches, and narrow lanes of smart shops. One of the prettiest towns on Como is Bellagio, set at the tip of a peninsula that divides southern Lake Como into two long arms. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.